Company of Heroes 2 is the sequel to the highest rated RTS of all time. It takes place on the Eastern Front, which is one of the most vicious and epic battles that you know human history has ever been exposed to. Nobody really knows about it. 13 of the 15 bloodiest battles of World War II were fought on the Eastern Front. The losses are in the millions. The scale of it is something that you haven't seen before. The story is something you haven't seen before. In Company Heroes 2, gamers can expect a lot of different things than they would have seen in the first version. The Essence Engine 3.0 is a great engine. One of the things that we wanted to up was the feeling of connecting you to the world. The new line of sight system we're calling True Sight in Company of Heroes 2 introduces something that we don't think has ever been done quite this way before for RTS. True Sight basically takes into account things that would block your line of sight and represents that in a dynamic fog of war system. So as you come around a corner, if there's a wall that you wouldn't be able to see over, you don't get to see what's behind that. And that opens up a ton of tactical and strategic options for flanking, for sneak attacks, for ambushes. So it really makes you think a whole lot differently about how you move about the world. You talk about little things that make a big difference in vaulting is one of those little things that makes a huge difference. In Company of Heroes 1, um, you had no opportunity to go around small obstacles, and this is something that I think that everyone would expect that an infantry soldier would be able to do, is jump over something as high as their waist. Uh, and it really prevented players from executing strategies that they wanted to. A great example of how we use vaulting in Company of Heroes 2 is that we wanted to get a visual language of any passable wall being something that you could climb over. If you pair that up with Coltec, there's a lot of situations in the game where uh, the long way around, you're probably not going to make it. If you vault, now you can get to a location where you can take cover, stop freezing, or get somewhere where you might be able to get heat and warm up again. The weather was an incredible force to deal with for both sides. It was something that would absolutely cripple an army um, if they were unprepared or if they got caught off guard. And it's something that um, we've really tried to capture in the gameplay experience of COH2. So Cold Tech really delivers um, to players the choices that come about as a result of harsh winters. You've got ice, you've got deep snow, and you've got vicious cold. Uh, and each of those bring a new tactical element for players. If you bring your vehicles onto the ice, if somebody bombs the ice around your tank, your tank's gonna sink. And it's, it looks great, like the ice cracks around it, you hear it crumble, the tank falls in. If there's any units that are standing nearby, they fall in the water and they try to swim for their lives, but they're doomed, it's too cold. So I remember playing one of our multiplayer maps early in development, where I had originally played it in the spring, now it's in the dead of winter. The rivers are now frozen over. My tanks and my troops can travel over them. The cover is all changed. It's a completely different experience. And that's what makes Company of Heroes so amazing. Using line of sight, using smoke, using vaulting, using uh, the true sight system, you're gonna have more opportunities to ambush and surprise players and use information warfare in a way that you've never seen in an RTS before. We talk about every battle tells a story. And six years later, after the original Company of Heroes has been released, we still, as a team, when we play it, jump up out of our seats and run over to our opponents and talk about what just happened. It's never the same experience. Something always new and exciting is happening. And that really is what the Essence Engine brings to the table. It really allows us to provide that experience that you just never forget and always keep talking about.